Hello and welcome to the Ditto Educational Series that will provide you with the skills you need to become a Forex trader. Today we will be discussing the lagging indicator known as the MACD or MACD and some of its properties including histograms in order to show you this indicator's potential at offering multiple signals to determine market direction within one indicator. Before we can look into some of the properties such as the histograms, let's first look at what the MACD is. MACD is short for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. It was created by Gerald Lapel in the late 1970s. It can help us reveal changes in the strength, direction, momentum and duration of trends in the market price. The MACD is an oscillator which is made up of three time series calculated from historical data. Here we have added some moving averages to our chart. We have a 26 day exponential moving average and a 12 day exponential moving average. The MACD line is basically the difference between the two averages charted as an oscillator. We can see here the correlation between the exponential moving averages and the MACD line. As the moving averages increase, the MACD line also increases. Now note here where the exponential moving averages cross each other. The MACD line simultaneously dips below the zero line, and then as the moving averages cross again, the MACD line rises back over the zero line and the market rises back up. This in itself can be a good signal that the market is about to change direction, and we are looking for buying opportunities when the lines rise above the zero line. If we now add a 9 day exponential moving average line to our MACD, we have now created a signal line. We are looking for sell opportunities when they cross at the top and buy opportunities when they cross at the bottom. Now, histograms measure the distance between the MACD line and the new signal line that we have added. When the MACD line goes below the signal line, you will notice that the histograms turn negative. Sell signals represent as negative and buy signals represent as positive in accordance with the histograms. Notice how when the MACD line swings towards the signal level, we start to see an uptrend on the negative histograms as they reduce in size. When the MACD line crosses the signal line, there is a bullish signal. When the histograms turn positive, this is also a bullish signal. These two signals together would indicate a buy to us. As the MACD line and the signal line gets closer to one another, you will also notice the histograms narrowing. We should be aware that a potential buy or sell could be upcoming and depending on your trading style, be ready to trade it. Remember that unless the MACD line crosses the signal line, we remain bullish or bearish until the line crosses. This all may sound confusing at first, but let's simplify it by saying if our histograms are above the signal line, then we are bullish. As they grow shorter, almost to the point of the signal line, we are fairly neutral and when they cross below, we are now bearish. Of course, we would like to use this indicator in conjunction with sound risk management and a solid overall trading strategy. We say this all the time, but there is no such thing as a standalone indicator. Using the MACD to trade in the direction of a strong trend can increase your win rate as opposing the trend is never a good idea. Could we however use the MACD to measure momentum and point out reversals to us? As we already know, we are looking for buying opportunities near prominent support and selling opportunities near prominent resistance. What are the sort of things we would like to see on the MACD indicator in accordance with trading opportunities when it comes to reversals? When we see aggressive or strong histograms building momentum as the market is approaching support or resistance, in this case we see a strong bearish candles pushing down and our negative histograms are gaining more and more strength consecutively. This could be a strong opportunity where we are looking to buy the market. Now this seems counterintuitive, but the reason for this is that strong momentum is usually thought of as a better trade setup than a gradual or weak momentum lead up when approaching support or resistance. When we have strong momentum with little to no opposition, the market can easily collapse in the opposite direction when it meets support or resistance due to the closing of open trades or the imbalance of selling pressure in this case being rectified. Of course, we will want to use entry triggers such as candlestick formations to confirm a reversal, but strong and continually growing histogram bars are a good sign when we are approaching support and resistance levels. In conclusion, the MACD is a very versatile technical oscillator that can help us uncover buying and selling opportunities. It is especially useful as an additional confirmation when using a well-rounded strategy. Using it in conjunction with entry triggers such as candlestick formations as well as technical and fundamental analysis can yield very positive results. Now please take some time to think about the moving average convergence divergence tool and the properties within. I hope you have enjoyed our educational session today and as always, please sit back and contemplate what you have learned today and remember, contemplation is the key to learning. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed our educational sessions, then please like and subscribe.